we as an industry are facing our Kodak moment, a point of inflection where we can choose, and we can choose between two future states, reinvention or a long, painful, miserable march into irrelevance. Let me explain why I believe we're at this point in history. The context in which we operate, that of culture, has changed dramatically over the last 60 years. Indeed, you could argue that over the last couple of decades, the rate of cultural change has never been faster or more pervasive. Yet if you compare the type of work we made 60 years ago with the work we make today, by and large, it's remarkably similar. Yes, the production values have improved, but the type of stuff we make at its heart is the same. We're failing to move at the speed of culture, a prerequisite for success for any creative industry. The great failure, I would argue, of the advertising industry to transform itself has been down to the fact that we're excellent at the wrong type of innovation. We relentlessly pursue and celebrate the latest new and original ways of doing what we've always done before. And it's rarely about imaginatively and daringly finding new types of things to do with our creativity and new ways to get paid for them. Now, you may ask, why bother? Why change? We are, after all, a place that celebrates creative bravery. And many of us, myself included, are here because we're paid for by a relatively big and successful agency that does good work, but essentially just does advertising. Why change if, after all, agencies are still getting paid lots of money to make ads? Why the great urge to change to go and do something outside our comfort zones? Well, I would argue we need to actually display, as an industry, some real creative bravery. There was a time when we used to be brave and far more imaginative. We invented new ways to go and solve business problems, from the soap opera to the creation of brands like Mr. Kipling's. We saw our sphere of influence to be anything that could connect a company with people. And yes, that did include the product. So why, in the age of the magic of technology, can't we invent new, brighter possibilities? It's deeply ironic, I believe, that the most significant invention to advertising in recent years, that of search, came from the outside of the industry, not from inside. We need to go and challenge the very nature of how we work, what we make, how we get paid, and actually what we celebrate at events like this. To think about, as kind of Google puts it, 10x change, not 10% change. I'm kind of convinced that irrelevance awaits us at the moment. We're losing relevance with people who care less for brands and ads than ever before, and with clients who don't really see the things we do as driving growth for their business and driving profitability. We're finding it harder to attract the best talent into the industry, as we simply aren't seeing or offering the wicked problems for them to go and solve. We're caught in a vicious cycle, and we need to break out of it. To do this, I think we need to go and break the muscle memory of seeing every business problem as something that can be solved by the act of making an ad. Clients are asking us to grow their business and solve big, tough, complicated problems. Yet our default behavior um, and kind of niche obsessions with the ad make this link between the commercial reality and the creative solution far too weak and far too indirect. We, become more, we have to become far more obsessed by the outcome we create for clients, not just simply the output we make. I believe to do this, we need to stop being advertising people and instead become hackers. Now, when you think of a hacker, you often still think of people like Anonymous who break stuff and live outside the law. Not that different from a night on the Quisette. But that's not what hacking is about. It's about something much more powerful. Because when you look at the definition of the hack, you find something quite interesting. A hack is defined as the most ingenious and effective solution to a problem. Now, doesn't that sound like something we should really want an industry to go and grow up to be? Hacks are more powerful than ads for five simple reasons. First, by their very definition, they're effective. They take big, complicated problems and break them into smaller problems that can be more easily solved, whatever form that solution takes. They remove the gap between the commercial challenge and the creative solution. But hacks aren't simply about being media or solution neutral. They're actually people positive. They solve real problems for people and make their lives in some way better. We end up making stuff people actually care about. Hacks simplify things for people and get out of their way. They don't feel they have to interrupt you or get in, their, get in your way in order to be noticed. They're forward-looking and they're imaginative. They have an inherent disdain for the tired solutions of today. And finally, hacking is about a predisposition towards speed. It's about solving a problem in a better, faster, and easier way. It fights the tyranny of perfection that far too often slows us down. It lets us move and experiment as fast as culture. 
So I think to grow up as an industry, we need to have a healthy disregard for advertising, at least as we know it now. We need to break out of the kind of simple paint by numbers mentality we have far too often. A healthy disregard for advertising has always been a common thread in the best advertising people and clients. Phil Knight famously spoke about how he really hated advertising. Google run a million miles away from stuff that feels like an ad. Um, and the same kind of thing, some, some of the best stuff that we do as an agency comes from the fact that Rich and Jeff aren't advertising people. They're people who fell into advertising from journalism and from design. We need to kind of rediscover the dis this disregard. And I think somewhat perversely, we need less advertising people in order for advertising to flourish in the future. So the argument, um, I think, would be face two really simple interlinked problems. First, we're a cultural laggard. We're less interesting and progressive than the stuff that surrounds what we do. As a result, we're less meaningful to people and less vital to brands. Second, we've forgotten how to understand and serve our clients' business problems. We only know how to make the stuff we've grown up making. The confluence of these two things means we're really making the slow walk into irrelevance. If we're to stop this and seize the amazing opportunities open to us, we need to stop being advertising people and we need to become hackers. Mark Shaler put it brilliantly. It's not sufficient to go and do things better. We need to go and do better things. Thanks.